Hey friends, welcome to another episode of ZBrush on the iPad. So today we're going to talk about posing your sculptures. So let's go ahead and bring up, you know, something that's a little bit more detailed. Now, this is not something I created. It's a default model uh, that comes in ZBrush that allows you to, you know, go ahead and play with it and use it as a starting point for something else potentially. But uh, today, you know, we've, we've decided that after sitting with this for a little while, you know, we're ready to take it to the next step. We've, we've decided that a couple of things bug us about it and it has to do with the pose, right? Okay, so that's just a hypothetical. So, you know, we've got this dog, his face is a little too, um, straight on. I want to have his head tilt a little bit more. And then maybe, you know, I feel like her arm and hand could be adjusted a little further. You know, maybe the, maybe her back or torso should be twisted a little, a little bit more. So let's say those are the, the decisions that you want to make. And, you know, you may think, okay, well, let's, grab the move topo you know, topological and you know, we'll make the brush really big and, and we'll just try to carefully move things. But then you can see obviously things get distorted and that's, that's not the right way to do it. So then you're like, well, okay, um, what if I use my masking tool and I put it on lasso, it was already on there. But, uh, and I want to grab a big area and let's say move her torso and we'll just tap a few times to soften that fall off, you know, but the, the active points and total points is about 501,000 points. So it's pretty high density mesh, you know, if we rebuild the subdivision or whatever, um, we're going to lose some of the detail and jump through a lot of steps, but, but let's just say that we want to go ahead and try to do it this way. So, okay. Position our camera, basically where we want it. Grab our 3d gizmo should do that first. And then holding this plus minus button, the alt button, essentially we move this gizmo where we want it and we're like okay great it's feeling good i want to have her torso uh twist a little bit more um okay it's not quite where we want it for that I'll tweak it okay so then i'll grab the green ring twist it around maybe throw it back a little bit and you know for that we didn't didn't do half bad or so we thought Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> That's not what we want. See how it pulled on the, you know, what was a dynameshed model. Uh, you know, it's made this area really nasty and it's clear that we've edited it at, the, at that, you know, after the fact. So that's not what we want. So let's undo, undo that. Okay, so now we're back to smoother mesh, right? So how do we do it? Well, there's this tool, it's called Proxy Pose. And so if you go into your menu, you choose Geometry, and then you turn on Proxy Pose. You know, at first you get this super low res version of your model, likely, you know, maybe too much. So turn that off and we want to dial, play with this reduction amount a little bit more. Once you get it to, you know, where it's definitely a major reduction, but you're not losing limbs, then you're at a good place. So we'll call it that. It shows that we're at 25,000 uh, active points at this, at this current juncture. So that's a lot better. Um, and, you know, obviously this, Looks like a mess, but trust the process.
just the process. So let's do that same thing again, where we grab our mask and we select the area of our model that we want to adjust. I'm going to tap and see now I'm getting a lot better blend across the topology. So that's a good sign. And then I want to invert it. Let's go to our gizmo. It's already in the right place because we positioned it before. So now I can, you know, make these edits and go ahead and unmask it. And as we can see, you know, because it's low poly, you know, there's there's no issue, right? I know. You're tell you're you're thinking, well, it's low poly and that's not what I want, right? Well, you go back to your proxy pose and you turn that off and it replaces the proxy pose model and updates the original high res model. So look at that. We don't have any of those freaking artifacts that we had before. And then you can jump back into it because that was just one piece. So let's go back to our proxy pose. And, you know, we were talking about this dog's head and how we wanted that to twist a little bit. So let's grab our mask again. Tap, tap, tap to give it a nice smooth. Back to the gizmo. And then we'll move it to where we want it basically, which is in the middle of the dog's neck. We want it to pivot in a, you know, realistic spot as if there were bones there. Yeah, that's pretty good. But as you can see, our mask is reversed. So we need to tap outside and now it's just the dog's head that is highlighted and we'll give it a more drastic turn than what we would probably really want just to show how this process holds up. So we've got a pretty good turn of the head. Let's toggle proxy pose, it works its magic. And let's look around the model. I don't see any issues. It looks as though it was sculpted that way originally. And now that dog's got a nice turn to his head. So nice and quick little tu tutorial on uh, proxy pose. So have fun with that. And until next time, keep on ZBrushing.